Previously on Tyrant Tantrums. Who's his supervisor? His supervisor? Yeah. Would you need him to come down here? Yeah, absolutely. Why is that? I'd like to talk about his disdain for the public. Okay. And how when the public calls him up for doing something wrong, it's considered agitation. Okay. And his refusal to identify properly. Give me one second. If you want, you can meet me over by here, the vehicle. Go on, Perez. Yeah, f you. That's what I thought. The f out of here, you tyrant. Deputy Peterson, this land is recorded. How may I help you? Let D3 know that the 13th papa from the other night with the vest on, mm -hmm. the guy that follows us around, mm -hmm. he's back. Yeah, taking pictures. He's got a bulletproof vest on. Just press on the back of it. Yeah, there's been all kind of bulletins on this dude. Okay, cool. Thank you. That. The tag's blocked. Do you have reasonable articulable suspicion to run that tag? Well, what you just did right there on my dash cam yeah. is a violation of the law, so I do need your ID. Well, actually, that's funny because we're on private property. You're not on a public road. Nope. Read the statute. 320.061. I need your ID. Really? For what? what what's 320.061. What statute? What, what, what line? Nope. You're not free to leave, sir. You want me to get my ID? 320. Hello, everyone. James with Open Government Investigations. This is the second part of the video that was released back on April 2nd, 2022, regarding the tyrant tantrum that Collier County Sheriff's Office Deputy M. Perez, ID 4214, had after I called him out for breaking the law. The first video provided context and the backstory as to why he threw a tyrant tantrum and gave a bogus retaliatory ticket. This video will cover the tyrant's issuance of a bogus ticket and a breakdown of the laws pertaining to having a tag on my vehicle covered. 20.061. You cannot apply any covering to any motor vehicle in the on a public roadway. Okay. That is not what the statute says. On a public you roadway. To, nope. You need to reread it. The citation that Perez issued for my covered tag was for Florida Statute 320.061. What Perez didn't understand was that Florida Statute 320.061 is a citation that's issued as a moving violation. If we look at the statute on the legislation's website, you'll see that it refers back to Florida Statute 318. Florida legislation is defined a moving violation as a violation that occurs when the vehicle is in motion. Seeing as the vehicle was not in motion during the detainment initiated by Perez, this is a miscategorization of the intended statute for the citation. We should also note that the vehicle also wasn't occupied at the time of the citation either. In some instances, a driver may be cited for a moving violation if the vehicle is not in motion, but the vehicle must be occupied by the licensed driver at the time of the detainment. We're on private property. 320.061. We're I need on private ID. property. Let me grab my ID then. Nope, I'll get your name. I don't need to go back in the car. You know my name. I do you already ran the tag. I do not know your name. Nope. James Carroll. James Carroll. Okay, what's your date of birth? 052393. You're just a tyrant, dude. You're just so buffered because I called you out for parking in a median, which was a violation of Florida Statute 316.1945. I, I gave it to you. What's your date of birth, sir? I gave it to you already. 052393. Thank you. Damn Open on. your ears. Fucking tyrant. Here, this. And this little thing right here, yes. this little thing right here, yes. you know, because we're on private property. Yes. Private property. Good you job. That's me. traffic enforcement on private property. You are detained. Okay. So you can stay right there with this deputy. Yeah. Okay. We are. If you don't mind, just stay right Absolutely. This guy's a piece of because I called him out for parking in a median. 316.1945. He didn't like it. He ran up to my window. And then he blocked the roadway. So he's mad that I called him out about that, which by the way, and again, 316 or the 320 statute he's citing, the one that I cite you guys for all the time, when I spike to Sergeant Walters about it, all that, all that pertains to on a public roadway. That does not pertain to private property because guess what? You're allowed to have vehicles without tags on private property, correct? Private property? Absolutely. Your property, yeah. yeah, this is on private property, property yeah. correct? It's private property? I'm not denying that. Okay, there we go, private property. So this would be fun to have in court. And then I'm going to go after him. 
I'm gonna strip him of his qualified immunity. This will be fun. Can I please grab my phone out of my car real quick so I can call my attorney? Based on just the standard of everything, I'm gonna escort you out to the vehicle. Thank you. you. I appreciate it. My phone's sitting right in the cup holder. There we go. I'm assuming you know this already, but you have to kill it out. No, it does that on it does that based on what door was open last. Oh, that's nifty. Yep. Is that like a new thing on Mercedes though? Yes. Oh. It's to let you know, hey, this is the last door that was open. It's a security feature. All right, so he's saying that he's pulling me over on private property because he tried to run my tag and so I popped the hood and I grabbed one of my rags and I put my rag over the tag on private property. So he's gonna try and write me a citation for it. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have a fun one with this one. I'm right down the road. There's like a Goodwill over by the courthouse. He's just butthurt because again, like I was telling you, I called him out for parking in the median, violation 316.1945, then blocking the roadway, which is again, 316.1945. I've got everything on camera. Everything he said, everything he did was on camera. So everything's being recorded now from inside the car and here. So he is a tyrant. He's like, he came out of the car screaming at me, dude. It's hilarious. The disdain, the disdain this guy has for the public. I mean, we're, we're not even going to talk about the policy violations. We can just talk about the legal violations, like the statutes that he's violated. I, I am. Where's, when's the supervisor going to get here, by the way? They're on their way. Okay. Um, I'd like the supervisor here before he tries to write me a citation for having the tag covered on private property. I can, all I can tell you is that he is on his way. I did notify him that you did want to speak with him. Okay, well, I, I, I like him here now because he's getting ready to write me a citation for something that isn't even against the law. Trust me, it's not like he's not going to come. Yeah, him, so. okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, I guess the supervisor, it's Sweeney, right? That is correct. Okay, thank you. And then just spelling it, your name is R-E-C-I-N-E-L-L-A. -L -L correct. Thank you. You've been cool. You've been cordial. I appreciate that. Yeah, the other guy wouldn't even let me go into my car to grab my ID because he kept screaming at me for my ID. And I was like, I'm going to f***ing get it. It's in the car. You're not allowed in the car. Just give me your name and date of birth. <laughs> Luckily, this kind gentleman here, who obviously doesn't have his head up his ass like this guy does, decided that he was going to uh, escort me to my vehicle so I could retrieve my phone so I can shoot you a call. So we'll make note of that. Yep. So I'm going to I'm gonna actually pull all this guy's files. Um... His name's Perez. What was his? Do you know what his ID is? I'll be honest with you. I don't know. You don't know? All right. His name's Perez. I'm going to send you the ID here in a moment. We'll start pulling all of his files, and then we'll get all of his information. So. Yeah. So it's funny. It's a, isn't that funny how, like, the county just keeps doing stupid shit that just keeps opening themselves up to more and more lawsuits? It is. It's 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 becoming quite the circus. We're just gonna have to get more people out here for sure. Yep. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His name's Sweeney, I believe. Sweeney, correct? I'm just confirming. All right. Yeah. The supervisor's gonna be Sweeney. I don't know. Uh, uh, the name sounds familiar, but I don't know if I've met him. Could you escort me back to my car so I can grab some water? Thank you. This time it's on the driver's side. Yeah, I'm trying to find the button. There it is. The what? Yeah, literally within 15 minutes of already calling you and telling you about this guy, this guy's already started to try and fabricate charges. Like, it's hilarious. Or not charges, citations. It's comical. He, I, he's in there right now scrambling on his computer. He's trying to find something to get me on. But it's okay because my speed and everything. Oh, here he comes. 
cool. Guess what? I'm on the phone right now. We'll see you in court. Yeah, what is no this? Problem. It's a citation for violation of 320.061. Oh, which, you have 30 which, days to which pay. talks about okay. public okay. 30 days to pay it or contest it. Yeah, okay. we will definitely be contesting it. Do you have any questions as it relates to this? Yeah, question real quick. Where are we at? You don't know the address? We're, we're in a parking lot, correct? We're in a private property? 320.061, you can read the statute. Okay, real quick though, real quick, because I need your yep. body cam. I need you to confirm this for your body cam for court. 377, Tamiami Trail East. Okay, in, Naples, in a, in a okay. private parking lot? Do you have any other questions? Yes, in a private parking lot? Do you have any other questions? We're waiting for your supervisor. Yes, I, I'm asking you questions. In you, a private you parking lot? You requested a supervisor from this deputy and he's coming for him. I did, and you just asked me if I had any more questions and I'm asking you a question, you okay, keep asking me my question, asking. sir? We're, in a private, we're on private property, correct? Can you have vehicles without tags on private property in the state of Florida? Okay. Yes, you can. You, what you did on my body cam is contrary to Florida. Oh my God, okay. guess what? No, it's not. Yes, it is. We'll have fun in court. Go f yourself. Right. You tyrant piece Thank you, James Carroll. You're very welcome, Perez. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna run your name here in my database in a second. I'm gonna have your address, your telephone number and everything. And it's gonna be great because I have access to the same stuff you do. So we're done, I'm no longer being detained? Cool. That's fine, I'm gonna stand right here and protest. That's okay, I'm not being detained though. I'm not, I'm not, he can easily get out of his vehicle. I'm, I'm like three feet away. Yeah. Now what's funny is he's probably gonna try and say that I have a tag light out even though I don't. So that's gonna be what's funny. That's what he's doing next. Cause he's already going back and running my tag. This guy's a tyrant piece of shit. Please don't ever be like this guy. We need good deputies, not like this piece. He does. Hey, real quick, read me, read me Florida statute three. He's trading 320.061. Covering entire license plate with blue towel. Unlawful alteration, note 16. And that talks about, oh, guess what? That's if you're driving. That's if the vehicle is in motion, in operation on a public road. <laughs> I literally go over this with them all the time. Go f yourself. Go f yourself. You piece of You're a fucking tyrant. You're a fucking tyrant. Pussy. We'll have fun in court. Sorry. Thank you so much for waiting for me. I'm gonna put this in the car. He does, he does, I, I'm not gonna bring that up, so. Florida Statute 316.605 covers the licensing of vehicles registered in the state of Florida. In subsection one, the statute reaffirms the standing that a license plate must be maintained in a specific manner and must be visible from 100 feet at all times. However, there is a caveat to the statute, and therefore, limitations on when obstructed license plate citations can be issued. In the very first section of the statute, a citation for an improperly displayed license plate can only be issued if the vehicle is being driven, stopped, or parked upon any highway, road, or street of the state. Seeing as my vehicle was parked upon a private parking lot, and not a public highway, road, or street, it does not need to have a tag visible, and therefore cannot be cited for having the license plate covered. This would be the same as having a protective tarp on a vehicle. The tarp would obstruct the view of the tag if the tarp was being used on a public highway, road, or street, but since the vehicle would be parked on private property, a citation couldn't be issued. It appears that maybe Perez should have looked into the statute, seeing as he did not even have the basic understanding that these statutes pertain to vehicle operations upon public highways, roads, and streets. His bruised ego got the best of him, and rather than just driving off and disengaging after being called out for breaking the law, he showed the world just how much of a tyrannical crybaby is when a member of the public dares to challenge him. What you just did right there on my dash cam? Yeah. As for addressing grievances to the Collier County Sheriff's Office for the tyrannical behavior of their deputies, they have made sure to limit your options to the means of prior restraint. Citizens used to be able to go to the Collier County Sheriff's Office Facebook page and redress their grievances in the form of public comments. However, it dissatisfied the department and they took away the ability to comment on their page. What you can do is create a post on your own Facebook account and tag the Collier County Sheriff's Office using the at symbol followed by Collier County Sheriff's Office and selecting their page in the pop-up. 
This ensures that they can't remove your post while also forcing it to be displayed on their mentions wall. If you don't want to use your personal Facebook due to the possibility of retaliation, create a burner account and use that. For those that would like to voice their redress of grievances to the Collier County Sheriff's Office, you can call them 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 239-252-9300. This is a recorded line, so please let me know if you call and I'll try and get a collection of the calls that were placed. I've also provided a Google Drive link to a Collier County Sheriff's Office complaint form that can be filled out on your computer using Adobe Acrobat. After filling out the complaint form, you can submit it to prb at colliersheriff.org. If you decide to exercise this option, please add swfloap at gmail.com to the blind carbon copy section in the email. I would heavily recommend that you only provide email as a method of communication so that any and all communications about the complaint are publicly available. The Collier County Sheriff's Office is also working on reducing their transparency by prohibiting the name and ID numbers of uniformed deputies from being released to the public in an effort to discourage citizens from making complaints. This also makes it harder for citizens to accurately pinpoint which deputies are involved in situations or calls for service. This is an issue that I've already begun looking into and will release more information at a later time. Thank you for watching. The f out of here, you tyrant. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe hit the like or dislike button, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on future releases. If you've been a follower for a while, make sure to hit the like or dislike button, share this video, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Memberships are less than a dollar a month, so if you'd like to support the channel, click the join button below. If you'd like to make a one-time contribution, links are available in the description below. If you have a channel and would like to be featured in the description of my future videos, as well as the credit section, please send me an email at swfloap at gmail.com. Hello, I'm 13 Papa. Bravo son at the jail. Called in by one of the deputies advising of a 13 male that's wearing a bulletproof vest in a parking garage. Walking up to deputies. Last seen on the third floor. Apparently, uh, we've been out with him before from the other night. Yeah, four, uh, 17 LB 51 and any other available units from the basement. Hey, yeah, good afternoon. I have a little volume. I switched over. I'm sorry. Do you have any, any updates? Thank you. Okay, send the call to any available day shift unit, please. Being the nine, turn up. Three Alpha 31, you can say to me. Yeah, enables three Alpha 20, LB 51, 31. Three Alpha 11, three Alpha 10. Great. My computer's not working. Um, I'm near the government center. Can you tell me what's going on? Yeah, enables a lock 30, 89, uh, three Alpha 11. Yeah, uh, 13P wearing a bulletproof vest, so be careful, wait for backup.